Hello, this is Eric Martin with the Mechanical Engineering Department at the University of Maine. In this video, we'll be looking at simple chamfer and fillet features. First, we'll look at fillet features. Under our Features Command Manager, we can see fillet midway through. We select this, and we have a few different options that we can choose from. We'll look at the constant size fillet. First thing that we see is we need items to fill it, and we can start selecting some either faces or edges. We'll select this edge right here, and we can select another edge, and we can see a preview depending on whether we show full or partial or no preview. Full preview is typically the best, but may take some time with more complex geometries. Here we can see our radius of our fillet is 10 millimeters, and it's symmetric. We can choose asymmetric would be a beginning and end radius. Let's stick with symmetric. And we will accept that fillet. We can go ahead under our fillet and we can even choose a face to fill it. And we can see how that fillets as well. Another thing that we can do is we can go back under fillet and notice that we have a tangent propagation. If we select one edge, it will propagate across the tangent lines of the fillets that have already been made. One last thing we'll look at with fillets. We can see what's called a full round fillet. We'll select that. So we start with our first feature to select, our first face. We'll select one face. We've got to come and change our selection window. Select another face. Change our selection window and select a third face, and we can see how it fully fillets the base. We can try that again, back to fillet. We have our full round fillet selected. We can select the top face, go back and change our selection window, select the side face, selection window, and the bottom face. And we can see how that creates a fillet. One more thing I want to show is, again, with the fillet feature, we'll go back to our constant size fillet, and we can select inside this hole. We'll change our fillet size to three millimeters, and we can select just the inside surface, and we can see from our preview that it fillets both sides of the hole for a nice smooth hole. Now let's look at the feature chamfer tool. So again, under our Features Command Manager, right under Fillet, we have a drop-down, Chamfer. Here we can see we have a few options, Angle Distance, 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 and this Vertex. The other two aren't used as widely. We look at the Angle Distance option, and we're given an option for a, when looking at the Angle Distance, we have a chamfer parameters of a distance and an angle. If we have 45 degrees, as we have defaulted here, that will be the same thing as a uh, distance distance with an equal distance. So let's choose 0.25 inches, 45 degrees. Although I didn't mention with the fillet feature, when we go ahead and select an edge or a face, notice that we see our items to chamfer. We can select another edge. And by right-clicking, we can either clear the selections, which will remove both of the features, or we can delete one or the other. We can delete one, and then we can accept that. We can always go back, edit our feature, and then add another edge. And again, that's the same way with both fillets and chamfers. Turning our object, let's go ahead and chamfer the top face of this circular boss. So we come under chamfer, we'll leave it at 0.25, and when we see that, it might look like it's, the chamfer's too large, so we can change that to 0.125, a little bit smaller. We can also change the angle, um, we'll keep it back at 45, and we can accept that. Let's try another chamfer. Come back to our chamfer tool. We'll select this top face. 
and we don't see a preview on it. And when we accept, we often get this rebuild error. And typically what this means is our chamfer or even our fillet might be too large for the geometry that we have. So we'll change this to 0.1. That doesn't seem to do it. So 0.05. And we can see once we do that, we have some geometry that is previewed and we can accept that. And it shows around the hole. I've got a chamfer throughout the hole as well. well. I'll show you the distance distance, which if we use symmetric, it's the same as a 45. We can use asymmetric, which would be two different distances. So we'll have 0 0.05 and we'll do the other one 0 0.1. Let's just choose a face or an edge. Let's make that a little bit bigger. We'll add 0.1 to each of these just so that we can see it. Let's make this 0.5. Now we can see it. The last tool we'll use is the chamfer vertex. We can select this. We'll leave it as a default size. To use this, we simply select a vertex. However, the downfall is, is that we can only select one vertex at a time. That is chamfers and fillets in a nutshell. Thank you for watching.